Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Minecraft Feed the Beast series. And as you can see, we are back out at the Arcology today. Though not for any construction, really, we are here for the purposes of experimentation. And we're going to do that experimentation up here where I already have this crafting table. And now, if you have been a viewer of mine for a while, you may know that one of my goals with this Arcology is to have as much of it as possible automated. I mean, that's why we've been doing a lot of tests at the village and outside the Arcology and inside the Arcology. Uh, basically to figure out all the different systems that we're going to need to put together in the long run to get this place moving nice and smooth and more or less on its own. And one of the things for that automation and everything that we're going to need is ways to control it. And one of the big ways that I know how to do for controlling things over distance is through wireless receivers and whatnot. And, well, I believe the name of the mod is actually Wireless Redstone, not Wireless Receivers and whatnot. But, <laughs> yes, through Wireless Redstone. Now, I've, I've used it a bit in the past, but never... Never for something this ambitious. I've only ever used it for uh, small little redstone machines and like hidden doors and stuff like that. But today I'm, I'm going to run you guys through the basics that I know of wireless redstone and try and show you how I could use it here. Uh, mainly for lights, because well, we have a lot of these different inverted lights all around the place that can be turned on and off with the redstone signal. And so for wireless redstone, we could use that to basically control all the lights in this facility, or at least most of them. I mean, I'm not going to hook these things up to wireless redstone or anything like that. But for, like, the farming area and the manufacturing sections, we could be able to... How we would have the ability to control lights, and which I think is kind of cool to have. So, if we just go to this crafting table here, I already set up the NEI with uh, wireless, because unfortunately, the mods in the item subset here... Oh, where is it? It's... Oh, oh okay, losing control here. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. <laughs> For some reason, the all the wireless redstone stuff is split into three things. You have the add-ons, core, and red power. Uh, which I would have thought at the very least that core and red power would be together considering you need all these to make these. And th this is what you make red wireless redstone for. So, yeah. Oh well though, the, the basic things that we're going to be looking at today are here, which is the wireless remote, the wireless receiver, and the wireless transmitter. Now, we're going to make this remote first because it's quite easy. As you can see, it is just a button and a wireless transceiver. So if we make ourselves a button there, excellent. <laughs> and uh, then the, for, to make the wireless transceiver, it's pretty simple. You just take an ender pearl, surround it with redstone, as well as glowstone. And there you go. You get this rather pearl I, I have no idea if I'm saying that right but yeah that looks right to me either rather or rather pearl something along those lines and we need five of those so let's just grab all this and we also need obsidian sticks so if we make uh, ten should do just put those there and there and there we are, just the rather pearl and obsidian sticks get you the wireless transceiver. So if we grab those, and then just take that one transceiver and a button, and there we are, we have a wireless remote. Now I love this thing to death, it's, it's quite cool. When you right click, you send a wireless redstone signal. But of course, this is a freshly built remote. It has no signal whatsoever, so if we shift right click we get this wonderful little uh, GUI here so that we can change the frequency and I, I absolutely this is the big reason I love this mod is that you can have just so many different redstone signals going around everywhere I mean granted you probably don't want to have thousands of them in your world but you have the potential to do that because you can Control it, raise and lower it by tens, hundreds, single digits, and it's all good to go. 
Now, ooh, I'm actually, I don't want it to be that at all. Let's get this thing back to about a thousand, <laughs> bring that down and bring it to there. There we are. We'll make it 10. That's much easier to get to frequency. Now, this is what I've always used. I've never looked at this advanced tab really, but uh, the purpose of it is that you can actually make your wireless signal uh, basically encrypted so that no one else can get to it. I mean, that, that's my understanding of it. Like I said, I've never actually used it, but that, that's my basic understanding is that you can use this to make yourself a private wireless signal. Uh, but we'll stick with this because, hey, I'm the only one in this world. There's really no point for that. So yeah, we have that set to 10. Quite nice and simple. Now, oh yeah, which now as you notice, it lights up there when I right click. But of course, we have nothing to actually turn on and off. Let's rectify that. Now we're gonna make this uh, wireless receiver here, which is pretty simple. What we need is some stone bowls, which, you know, basic bowl shape just with smooth stone. Wonderful. Then you take two of those, well, really one, but I'm gonna make two. So you take a stone bowl and a wireless transceiver and you get a receiver dish. So let's grab those. And we also need to use these stone wafers, which these are pretty simple to build. Now you could make them in one of these ways by using a minium or a philosopher's stone, something like that. But that's, uh, yeah, that's too complicated for me. Actually, it's pretty simple, but I don't like doing it that way. I just like smelting stone. It's easier. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, I know you get more out of materials for this, but um, my whole arcology is made of stone. I've got a whole system set up for making an infinite amount of stone, so it doesn't really bother me if I'm wasting stone to make stone wafers. So, <laughs> yeah, I just popped them into uh, an electric furnace, and I believe you can, yeah, put them into a power powered furnace as well. And yeah, that's how I make them. Pretty easy. And what we need to do with the, these is make some stone wires, which I believe I'll need eight for what I want to do today. So if we take eight stone wafers and some redstone, there we go, we have stone wires. Now to make the uh, receiver, there we go. <laughs> we just take two stone wires, a stone wafer, an obsidian stick, and our bowl. Now, that's pretty simple, easy to make, quite a nice and, yeah, I need two. So simply make two of those and bam, there we are. We have wireless receivers. Now we also wanna make one of these wireless transmitters, which actually, ooh, I'm gonna try something here real quick. Let's look at the recipe. Pretty simple, actually easier to make than the receiver because we don't need the bowl to make the dish. It's just a transceiver, an obsidian stick, and a stone wafer. And what I'm wanting to try here is something someone told me on Reddit after the last episode. Now, if we hit the question mark on there, like all the times we've done this before, we get the recipe right here in sort of a ghostly format. But I was told that if we shift click this, yeah, it does work, I'll be darned. <laughs> if you shift click the question mark, it loads it up with the materials that are in your inventory to make whatever it was you wanted to make. That that could have saved me so much time with all the things I've built. <sighs> I wish I would have known that, but now I do, and <laughs> we'll remember that for the future. So yeah, shift click that and bam, it all goes right into the crafting table. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Oop, we actually need you, I need you as well, and you. There we go. Now let's put down this receiver right here, and so that we can see it working, we'll just put some redstone in a nice big pattern so it's easily visible, and then we'll put a transmitter right here with a switch, which, yep, that should work. And if we just make this 100 frequency, and same with this one, we'll make that 100 as well. Now if we flip this switch, there we go, it transmits the sing signal over to here and lights up the redstone. A very, very simple procedure, but something that is just so wonderful. I mean, the, the possibilities of 
having wireless activation of redstone are really endless in this game. I mean, just think of all the amazing things people have built out of redstone and how you could make it even better or potentially smaller with the use of wireless redstone. It's, it's just, it's simply wonderful. Now, if we put another one down here, let's turn you off. And again, lots of redstone, we'll just connect that into there. And if we take this remote, which is already set to 10, and if we right click on this receiver, it'll make that receiver's frequency 10. And now that we have it on that frequency, we can hold down the right mouse button, and there we go, it lights it up. And of course we can click, 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 and it just goes on and off however many times you click it. It's quite wonderful, I really do enjoy it. So this, this is mainly what I've worked with in the past, is just a wireless remote and receivers uh, used for hidden doors and things like that. Like one of my favorite creations I ever built on a server was uh, a whole part of a cliffside basically opened up using pistons powered by wireless redstone remote so that I could get into my base. It was it was a glorious bunker full of nukes. It was it was delicious. <laughs> but, uh, yes, we're probably going to remain nuke free on this game, though probably not. I may have some fun at some point. But yes, and one of the things that I want to show you now is basically how I'm thinking of using it here at the Arcology. Now, as I said, we use all these... Oh, and I can't get through the door. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> we use all these inverted lamps that can be turned on and off through redstone power. And if we go over here to where I was playing around with stuff earlier, as you can see from this random transmitter, you can put these transmitters and receivers wherever you want, on walls, on ceilings, uh, they're very easy to put wherever. And we have one right here set to 20, so if we change our remote to 20, we can click these lights on and off, quite simply by connecting a red alloy wire around these lights, and from anywhere we are, that well, within reason, uh, you can turn these lights on and off. It's quite cool. Now, this is on the remote, so we can just click, 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 and we've got ourselves a strobe light, or we can hook it up to a switch, and then, you know, whenever it's flipped, it could be on or off. And with the absolute huge number of frequencies that you can have in here, technically, if we really wanted to, we could have each of these clusters on its own frequency. Granted, I'm not that crazy. I'll probably put all of the clusters of lights in one singular quadrant on one frequency. But still, you know, it, it's a possibility with this system. And with this, we could control it through either remotes or a computer or just a random array of switches, however you want to go about it. And it's quite cool. So with this, we could control machinery, lighting, and just all sorts of other cool things here in the Arcology. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Just a quick basic look at the wireless redstone mod and why I love it so. It's just, it's just so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed and perhaps that maybe you learned something. And hey, if you have a suggestion for a cool use of this wireless redstone here in the Arcology, I'd love to hear it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you do come back for the next episode where we'll be doing something else over here or maybe at the test site, I don't know. But until then, my friends, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.